Next question is from Truly Interesting. During winter months, what supplements, vitamins, or products would you recommend to maintain health? Ah, this reminds me, I need to get my vitamin D. Yeah, I was just going to say, so that's the first place I would go. Um, a remarkable amount of yeah. people are, vitamin D levels are, are either deficient or lower than optimum. Mm -hmm. um, and it's because they're probably borderline low throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Then winter comes. They're not getting any sunlight. They're indoors. I would imagine right now, because of, of COVID, people are and they're isolated, probably lower amounts of vitamin D than normal. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's not good, right? Uh, vitamin D acts like a hormone in the body. Low vitamin D levels affect your hormones, and men will cause low testosterone. Um, it definitely affects your immune system. So get your vitamin D levels checked. If they're not optimal, um, then you can start to, to supplement. Um, I also start using more of the Organifi green juice in the winter. That's just something that I, do you, I drink more of. Do you find that it's because you don't get as much vegetables in the wintertime as you do summer? And I spring? think so. Yeah. I know in the, in the, for whatever reason in the winter, I, I, I don't know if it's just a psychological thing. I crave more meat and starches yeah, meat than I potatoes. do. Meat potatoes. That's yeah. uh, heavy in the winter. No, I agree. I, that's why I do it. So mm -hmm. I do the same thing. And yeah. I think that's the reason why is because I just naturally I'm getting less vegetables mm -hmm. than I would do during the summer and the springtime. Yeah. Zinc. Uh, zinc is another good one for mm -hmm. um, the wintertime. I know in men, you know, a good supplement for men is um, ZMA. Um, mm -hmm. you, you take mm -hmm. that at night. Uh, if your zinc is low and you take that, you will notice a boost in your testosterone performance. There was a study that came out a long time ago with college football players where they mm -hmm. gave them ZMA. Well, actually, they tested their zinc. All of them are low. Yeah. They gave them ZMA and their performance. Yeah, uh, I've been going through that right now a bit. It was zinc and vitamin D, both supplementing those and making a bit, bit of difference. Did you get too. tested and see that yeah, I did. they were low? Yeah. That was, uh, you know, back in the day, too, like when we were doing the Ever Everly Well stuff, too. But, um, yeah, I, I got it retested with blood drawn, and, and it was it was low. So that was another one they suggested to supplement right away. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I'd, I'd say those are probably the more important ones. I know with my kids, I give my kids vitamin D every day now. And it's mainly because they're not in school, and the only time they go outside is when I take them outside, which is – like I was joking with Jessica the other day. Yeah. I, I told her, I texted her. I'm like, hey, I'm taking the kids to the park for minimal physical activity <laughs> because it's like kids should be outside most of the time. Yeah. And even if I take two hours out of the day to take them outside, that's still nothing compared now, to what they need. Now, people with my like absence of pigment, you know, like, like as, as white as I am, like is, am I more susceptible to being deficient? In no, you'd be less. less. You'd be less because yeah. someone like Sal's family or like me that like needs the sun, I think wow. would, would or which is why I think we were, I, I still attribute to this to where my psoriasis came from. Like the only thing that makes sense to me is that for the first 20 years of my life, I was in the sun eight, 10 hours a day, every day, and then got into this job where I was in a brick building with fluorescent lights. And then it, and it took like four or five years of consistently not getting the sun for this to all of a sudden come out of nowhere. And then ever since then, I've battled it. Well, here's the weird thing. I, I have been taking cod liver oil for years. Cod liver oil is high in natural vitamin D. It's also got uh, vitamin A in it. Um, and I've been taking that for a long time. And in the vi in the cod liver oil that I take, it's probably about, I think it's like 600 IUs, which isn't a ton, but it's it's still some. And then I supplement on top of that 5,000 IUs, uh, international units of vitamin D every single day. I get my vitamin D levels tested. And I every time I get them back, I think, oh, I hope they're not too high because mm -hmm. I supplement. I always supplement. Yeah, and still, it's not right. I'm in the middle. Yeah. I'm always ideal. That's so it's why like I think if I stop most people are deficient. I, I would yeah. almost well. That's it. I, I was taking five thousand back when we were working with Everly Well and got tested and was still low. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, that was to me it made me very obvious to me that it was I'm not getting enough. If I'm supplementing and I'm yeah. still registering low, that's crazy. I, Unless it, you're out in the sun with your shirt off, yeah. you know, like you're not probably not getting enough. Well, we evolved being always outside, right? Always. So it does so that makes perfect sense. But I would say that's probably the most. Uh, important thing.